June 8th will of course be a very interesting fight as it will be Xander Zayas' biggest step up up against Patrick Teixeira. Well, first of all, when I heard the fight, I said, okay, Xander Zayas gets a um, main event Puerto Rican weekend. It sounds good, right? But then people are all like, hey, man, this might be an upset. I'm right here like, upset? Why would it be an upset? So, you know, doing what I usually don't do, I do research. I was like, oh, it, it might actually be an upset. Technically, other people on the card, you have Bruce Carrington, but he's fighting someone who lost to Joette Gonzalez. So, no offense to Joette Gonzalez. He gave the champions a good run for their money, but, like, I don't know. Hopefully, they make the fight next, Carrington versus Gonzalez, but maybe not. I don't know. But anywho, enough of dilly-dallying. Patrick Teixeira is 34-4 with 25 wins by way of knockout and one loss by way of knockout. That's right. He has a knockout percentage of 73%, which is not that bad. And of course, Xander Zayas is 18-0 with 12 wins by way of knockout. A little less knockout percentage. And he is only 21, which is another thing we should be looking out for. He's 21, fighting a 33-year-old with 38 fights. Of course, his one knockout loss was back in 2016 up against Curtis Stevens, who although his record is 27-5, he has some power. A lot of it. Although they are technically calling him a champion, why is that? Well, simple, because he is the former WBO interim super welterweight champion of the world by beating a certain someone. That's right, Carlos Adames. He beat him, got the interim title, and then he went on a three-fight losing streak, which two of them you can't blame him for. After beating Carlos Adames, which we'll talk about later, he fought the actual champion, Brian Castaño, which he lost a one-sided beatdown. And then he lost a disqualification up against Paul Cuesta, which is very bad. Especially the second round. How do you get disqualified in the second round? What the hell? What the hell's wrong with this guy? But anyways, he later went on to fight Magomed Kurbanov, which he also lost a very wide decision. And you may be wondering, that dude sounds familiar. Well, it's simple. This dude later went on to fight for the vacant WBL Super Welterweight Champion or Championship up against Israel Majormov. As many people are like, hmm, that sounds familiar too. Because that's the dude that's set to fight Terrence Crawford. Of course, he did lose to a guy with 10 fights while having 25 himself. But Majormov is just that guy. He's just that guy. And after that, he had three fight KO streaks up against some pretty decent opponents. I mean, his first one after the losses... Obviously not going to be the best, 16-9, but 23-1 and one and 18-2. and two. That, That's something. And not only that, Rivero failed to make weight. This dude was fat. Dude was two pounds heavier. But we'll take that loss with a grain of salt because after that he lost a bunch more times by knockout. So maybe Teixeira broke his chin. We'll just assume that. And then Edison Saltarian, which was 18-2. and two. Although coming off of the more recent losses, once again, not that bad of a win. Of course, he did lose to a 28 and 27 fighter, so that's something. But whatever. Of course, Xander Zayas, once again, 21 years of age. This dude's young. And he himself has fought some pretty decent opponents himself. His latest one, 24 and 3, 25 and 4. You know, some good ones, right? Now, of course, the reason why it is considered could be an upset is this dude's only 33. This dude's not that old. Although he does have 38 fights to his name, he's not that old. Especially coming off with some pretty decent wins himself by knockout. So this man has power. Not only that, having Carlos Adames on your record as a win is always great. But of course, that was in a that was a somewhat close decision, as you see by the judges' scorecards, which he technically only won by knocking Adames down. But hey, a win's a win, close or not. But then again, when you go with the other elite guys he fought, like Castaño and Karbanov, they were really, really wide decisions. So yeah, this. Is, but then again, when you lose once, get DQ'd, and then fight again, and you get dropped in round one, yeah, you're going to get frustrated. You're definitely not going to fight to the best of your ability. But, you know, one thing I am going to say, we're not cheering for this guy. How do you get DQ'd in two rounds? It's gotta be, how do you get frustrated in two rounds, too? What the hell? Come on. But anywho, 
Who's going to win? And of course, it's very interesting. As well, Xander Zayas will most likely win, as he is technically the better boxer. Considering at any time Teixeira fought elite-level guys, he kind of lost very wide decisions except the Adamas fight. But then again, Adamas moved up and became champion, so maybe he was better at 160. But at the end of the day, all I'm going to say is Xander Zayas will most likely win a close decision. I don't think he's going to absolutely, you know, sweep Teixeira in the cards. But one thing I'm going to say is Teixeira better not knock down Zayas. Because if Zayas gets knocked down, I think I think he's going to get stopped. Not because, oh, he got hurt from the stoppage. No, he's going to give Teixeira too much confidence. Because this guy will 100% take advantage of Zayas' inexperience. But no, I, I, I do think the 21-year-old will beat Teixeira. I think seven rounds to three, six rounds to four, somewhere around there. Close decision. Maybe, you know, I could potentially see a sweep. Because Teixeira, don't get me wrong, good fighter. But he did kind of win against Adamas because of the knockdown. So unless he knocks down Zayas, he ain't winning. But he got power. He got experience. He got pedigree, I guess. Fighting Castaño, Karbanov, and Adamas, although not winning two of them. Still good experience. But anywho, hope you enjoyed this video. I got Zayas winning unanimous decision. I don't think he stopped Sekshera. Because don't get me wrong, he got power. But I don't know. I guess when he fights more experienced people, the power just disappears. I don't know. But whatever. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.